We're on the cusp of a revolution that will change everything about work and the economy. I'm talking robots, AI, automation all threatening to make many jobs obsolete. What happens when people lose their jobs? How will we make money? Will the economy collapse? I'm Alex, and in this video, I'll walk you through what experts are calling post-labor economics, an entirely new economic system for a world where human jobs are increasingly automated. This isn't science fiction anymore. The technological writing is clearly spray-painted on the wall. So, buckle up. Because by the end of this video, your whole perspective on work and the economy may be turned upside down. If we play our cards right, we could be heading for a utopia of abundance. But if we drop the ball, dystopia could be just around the corner. The overarching question many people have is, if automation replaces human jobs, how will the economy work? Which industries will survive? Which will collapse? To answer, we'll look at this from both a micro, individual level, as well as the macro, whole economy level. There are risks, but also huge potential upsides. So what is post-labor economics? It's a new theory predicting that if automation makes human labor unnecessary, everything has to change. Our relationship with work, money, business, the government, you name it. AI and robots are advancing crazy fast, gaining new skills almost daily. We're entering an age of abundant automation that threatens jobs requiring cognition and knowledge work. In past industrial revolutions, it was manual labor that got automated in factories. Now it's minds, not just muscles, that are poised to become obsolete. Artificial intelligence can replicate and outperform human knowledge work, from medicine to law to coding and beyond. As AI gets better, faster, cheaper, and safer than humans at more and more jobs, huge economic disruption awaits. This video explores what a post-labor economy might realistically look like. The benefits, the risks, predictions on surviving industries, even ideas for a whole new social contract. First, let's look at some of the good things AI automated abundance could bring. Productivity, surge, smarter AI and computing clearly make many tasks far more efficient. Microsoft found that developers get 55% more done using GitHub Copilot. And that's just the beginning. Some experts predict entire industries could see productivity jump over 1,000%. Scientific Acceleration AI is already turbocharging scientific research. Tools can read, summarize, and draft manuscripts in seconds, allowing scientists to achieve in hours what once took months. AI breakthroughs like DeepMind's AlphaFold have lit a fire under drug discovery and medical research. Creativity Explosion Creative Industries are next on automation's dinner plate. AI can now write novels, produce music, and paint original art. Text-to-video tools can get generate Hollywood-quality films in hours instead of months. The world is about to drown in a tsunami of cheap, personalized entertainment. Scalability. Unlike humans, AI models can scale infinitely. One great nurse robot could be cloned two million times to provide affordable global healthcare. Content creation AIs create an unlimited firehose of music, videos, and articles to satisfy any niche. These upsides highlight why businesses are racing towards AI systems to drive efficiency. But every silver lining has a cloud. As we'll see, unchecked AI job losses could wreak havoc. Regulation is critical. What about the major downsides and economic threats posed by automation job losses? Price collapse. First, as AI gets faster and cheaper than humans at tasks, expect crazy price deflation in affected industries. For example, an AI graphic designer made all the graphics in this video for cents and seconds. Same for AI music composers. The cost to produce an album drops from thousands to pocket change. Reduced demand. If half the population loses jobs and paychecks overnight, aggregate consumer demand falls off a cliff. Millions with no income mean people buy far less stuff. Bad news for businesses if fewer can afford what they're selling. It's a vicious cycle where job loss leads to reduced spending, which then disincentivizes production. The engine of the economy could seize up. Plus, primary needs will change. Food, water, and shelter will still be in demand. But what about industries like insurance, finance, entertainment? Total panic if 80% of your revenue disappears because consumers can't or won't buy what you're selling. So things could get ugly. However, 
Many economists theorize that, from chaos, a new and better economic paradigm may emerge. For example, localized on-demand production could replace today's globalized supply chains. Picture neighborhood nanofactories that use AI designs to 3D print products as needed, instead of massive overseas manufacturing. There's also a concept called industry narrowing, entire sectors that become irrelevant in a post-labor world like horse-drawn buggies after cars made personal transportation way easier. Regardless, seismic shifts in how economic value is created and destroyed await. Let's look at some predictions on which industries artificial intelligence is most likely to make obsolete and which are poised to thrive. First, the potential survivors will be raw materials, commodities, and energy. Even in an AI universe, humans still need food, shelter, clothing. Demand persists for timber, textiles, metals, building materials. The same is true for electricity and clean energy to power all those gadgets. Computer hardware and semiconductors. AI runs on chips and servers, so computer manufacturing is positioned to boom. Cloud infrastructure and quantum computing could become epicenters of value creation. Robotics and industrial automation companies producing the machine makers will coin it. After all, someone needs to build the robots doing everything from farming to manufacturing to butler duties. Sustainable technology, innovation around clean energy, resilient food systems, and eco-friendly industries are surging. The ethos of sustainability isn't going away, even if everything is automated. Human experiences with more free time and income shifts expect growth in sectors satisfying needs for human connection, joy, and fulfillment versus material possessions. Industries around travel, community, spirituality, creativity, concerts, and local events could thrive. So automation opens new frontiers of human flourishing unseen by an economy centered on menial jobs. On the flip side, AI threatens to churn several major sectors. Healthcare, rejuvenation biohacking, and anti-aging trends, paired with personalized AI diagnostics, could profoundly change health care by making us healthier overall. Hospitals and big pharma companies stand to be disrupted. Education. The classroom model already looks archaic compared to the internet and AI-driven learning. Virtual tutors and digitally downloaded skills may replace traditional institutions altogether. Finance and insurance. These industries could narrow significantly in a post-labor world. Though bots now write financial reports and insurance claims, margins may get too thin for major job loss disruption. Digital entertainment. Ironically, the very tech companies rushing to develop creative AIs could dig their own graves. Once interactive AI content surpasses human artistry, many current entertainment brands will crater. The common theme across threatened sectors is they interface directly with individual consumers. If unemployed consumers retreat from the economy, these industries falter. But a handful of monopolies owning the means of production presents society with an even bigger problem. Which brings us to, how can we restructure the economy to work for people instead of against them in a post-labor age? First, we must rebalance power. Government and citizens should be priorities, not merely maximizing technological productivity and corporate profits above all else. The current social contract between people, government and business is strained. We need to shore up civil institutions and democratic processes to give citizens more voice in policymaking so their welfare is accounted for. Next, we need to mitigate the reduced consumer demand risk and wealth inequality. Some sort of ongoing stimulus, whether universal basic income, UBI, or universal basic services, ensures populations have money flowing to cover basic needs, which keeps economic circulation humming. Call it compensation for the automation dividend, the windfall profits AI generates while leaving many unemployed. This honors the reality that algorithms running the show don't fully replace human innovation and labor. The gains cannot be hoarded to a billionaire technocracy. Finally, we need to get over wealth and privilege, being society's highest marker of status. That ethos drives short-term decisions, undermining sustainable, equitable growth. There are many paths to meaning that technology makes more accessible. Creativity, spirituality, service, mastery, or family. Recalibrate the social contract to one focused on guaranteeing fundamental dignity and maximizing human development. 
Make room for people's higher purpose to emerge as the ubiquity of robot labor gives us all a chance to self-actualize. Rather than resist change, adapt social supports around the low-hanging fruit of this automation abundance. The post-labor economy sets the stage for a Star Trek-esque utopia where technology sets humans free rather than imprisons them. We have power to make it so if we update policy with that prosperous human-centered vision. I'm Alex. Hopefully, this video has opened your mind to the epic economic shift already in motion that will define the century. Harness the revolution or be destroyed by it. The choice is ours. Let me know your thoughts and predictions for surviving a post-labor planet. Drop a comment to keep the discussion going on building an automation-abundant world, optimized for human thriving.